I'd like to preface this by saying I did no research, I did no reading ahead of time, I didn't even read the instructions as I'm opening the box. This is me live-ish. Um, I did compress it down because it took me over a half hour to pull it all out of the box and put it together, uh, which is way too long, but realistically for a person who's unprepared uh, to put one together, this is what it should take. I have no experience with 3D printing whatsoever, uh, so this is the real thing as it takes place. Fifth time's the charm. Camera one, ready. Camera two, ready. Camera three, ready. Okay, so this is my first multi-camera shoot. Uh, I am going to unbox my dun, ta, da, da, Bamboo Labs X1E 3D printer. It arrived a couple of days ago. I haven't had the opportunity to unpack it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do an unboxing. We're going to set it up. And then I may actually print something. Who knows? Okay, so I widened this shot. Get all of this in here. Uh, so everything is packed inside of it. We have three spools. So the glass top on it. Give you a box of tools or a box of stuff. The AMS. So they provide a filament swatch for all the, oh, come on, folks, for all the bamboo filament. That's nice. So the screw's located there, 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 and there. All have to come out. I've already taken these out. One of the things of interest, everybody asks, what are you going to print with a 3D printer? My mom likes to ask, what are you going to print with a 3D printer? And I replied, parts for the 3D printer. So it's very meta. You buy the tool to print things for the tool, to make the tool better. Or, that's how we start off anyway. It'll put it on something shorter. This is why they give you such a freakishly long Allen wrench, so that you can fit through the hole to put the screw on for the spool holder. The box on top is the advanced material system. This comes out of the back. We've got a cable, 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 cable. Okay, so there's a set of holes under here that four pins plugs into, and then there's a set of holes down here. There's two that says plug into it. Looks like it says to go into the top one. Can go on, only go in one way. That now impedes. They lovingly refer to as the poop shoot. 
And this is a six pin cable. It goes one way into here and one way into here. I don't tell you which one's in and which one's out. I'm going to go to that side. It feeds in. This feeds into this side. It is just pressure fit. Mm. The control panel. It's got a little scratch guard on it. Hey, look, it's me. It's got a scratch guard on it for shipping, but I'm just going to leave that on there. Put the cable right there. That little cable right there. It's got about that much slack. Got to do it from this side because it's the only side I can see it from. I think that's it. Slide it in there and slide it. Left. Ooh, it snapped. Ah, that tilts. That's all I'm going to offer for unboxing. It's out of the box. Put together, this is the material handling system. This is the printer. This is the controller. We've got some extra little pieces and parts, which is nice. Looks like it's got some lubricant, some extra screws. But, I'm going to play with this a little bit and then print something. Now I'm going to print up some filament and print some shit. All sorts of fun stuff. So how did it go after I stopped filming last night? Not too good. I spent about three hours after I stopped filming trying to get it to print and I was unsuccessful last night. I forgot to re remove one of the cushions. It's a big piece of plastic that uh, it keeps it stable in shipping. Uh, I located that this morning. I saw it. I wasn't... The instructions aren't extremely clear and they're really small. So... I was in a hurry and I was tired. I probably had a headache. Uh, and it was uh, a little frustrating and it didn't go the way I anticipated. So I found that this morning uh, and was able to get her up and running. There it is. It's running on a ten and a half hour print. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Too many hobbies, not enough time. It's a theme song, y'all.